This is a uh, part two of uh, the penance, penance, right of penance. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. And I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Lord is merciful. He makes us clean of heart, leads us out into his freedom. When we acknowledge our guilt, let us ask him to forgive us and bind up the wounds inflicted by our sins. Give us the grace of true repentance. We pray you hear us, pardon your servants, and release them from the debt of sin. We pray you hear us, forgive your children who confess their sins and restore them to full communion with your church. We pray you hear us, renew the glory of baptism and those who have lost it by sin. We pray you hear us, welcome them to your altar and renew their spirit with the hope of eternal glory. We pray you hear us keep them faithful to your sacraments and loyal in your service we pray to you hear us renew your love their hearts and make them bear witness to it in their daily lives we pray you hear us keep them always obedient to your commandments and protect within them your gift of eternal life we pray to you hear us Let us pray to God, our Father, in words Christ gave us, and ask him for forgiveness and protection from all evil. Our Father, Lord, draw near to your servants who in the presence of your church confess that they are sinners through the ministry of church. Free them from all sin so that renewed in spirit they may give you thankful praise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind the goodness of God our Father and acknowledge our sins so that we may receive his merciful forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Christ our Savior is our advocate with the Father. With humble hearts, let us ask him to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from every stain. You were sent with good news for the poor and healing for the contrite. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, not the just. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy. You forgave the many sins of the woman who showed you great love. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy. You did not shun the company of outcasts and sinners, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy. You carried back to the fold the sheep that had strayed. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy. You did not condemn the woman taken in adultery, but sent her away in peace. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy. 
You call Zacchaeus a repentance and a new life. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy. You promised paradise to the repentant thief. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy. You are always interceding for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy. Now, in obedience to Christ himself, let us join in prayer to the Father, asking him to forgive us as we forgive others. Our Father, who art in heaven, Father of our source of life, you know our weakness. May we reach out with joy to grasp your hand and walk more readily in your ways. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father of mercies through the death and resurrection of his Son has reconciled the world to himself and set the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the church, may God give you pardon and peace, and I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promises. A mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. O oh, Holy Father, you have shown us your mercy and made us a new creation. In the likeness of your Son, make us living signs of your love for the whole world to see. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, your loving forgiveness knows no limits. You took our human nature to give us an example of humility and to make us faithful in every trial. Make we never lose the gifts you have given us. But if we fall into sin, lift us up by your gift of repentance. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Father, in your love, you have brought us from evil to good and from misery to happiness. Through your blessings, give the courage of perseverance to those you have called and justified by faith. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God and Father of us all, you have forgiven our sins and sent us your peace. Help us to forgive each other and to work together to establish peace in the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come back with part three. Confession to my sins. This is the rite of penance. And this is what we need. And there's a lot of people in the world that feel that
exercising. <laughs> Going backwards, huh? <laughs> Boy, I'm just... Gotta go with chapter three.